Okay, so just one more integral here um, involving, well, at first it doesn't look like it, but will involve secant and tangent. And recall, well, 1 over cosine uh, of x, that's secant x. So in this case, we'll have a secant to the 6th power of x. And 1 over cotangent, well, that's just tangent. So here we'll have tangent squared x dx. And I think we can do the same thing as before. Um, we'll save an even power of secant, so we'll have uh, secant squared x dx. We would have secant to the fourth left over, but I'm going to write my secant to the fourth as secant squared squared. So again, if you kind of, uh, you know, were to multiply all these together, we would get secant to the sixth back. Tangent squared is still just hanging out. Uh, now we'll use our identity that we saw before. We can replace secant squared with just uh, 1 plus tangent squared x. Again, that's being squared. And then we have tangent squared x times secant squared x dx. And this is where we'll do our u substitution. So if we let u equal tangent of x, our du is going to be secant squared x dx. And now it's just going to be a matter of, uh, again, just kind of getting a polynomial function and integrating that thing. So, again, we'll replace all the tangents with u's. So we would have 1 plus u squared squared. We would have another u squared. But then our secant squared x dx, again, we can replace that with the du. So 1 plus u squared, we would have to, you know, distribute that out. 1 plus u squared times 1 plus u squared. That'll just get, give us 1 plus 2 u squared plus u to the fourth when we multiply it out. Times u squared du. Well, let's see. u squared times 1 is just u squared. It looks like we'll get a plus 2u to the fourth when we distribute. Plus u to the sixth du. And again, now we've done the hard part. Uh, the antiderivative would just be u to the third over three, plus two u to the five over five, plus u to the seven over seven, plus c. And now I'm just going to plug my u substitution back in. And again, we said that u was going to be equal to tangent x. So we have one third times tangent of x cubed, plus two fifths times tangent of x raised to the fifth, and then plus one-seventh tangent of x raised to the seventh, plus c, and we've now got our antiderivative.